All right, welcome everybody. My name is Barbara Alfonso and Megan Newman is here, my business partner. We're both the creators of Integrate to Upgrade and we both host uh, this, this Zoomcast. We decided to call it Zoomcast. It's like a podcast, um, but it's live in person. We can see each other and we invite guests uh, every time who are experts in the subject that we're talking about. And the subject that we talk about each month has to do with our coaching program that we have for women. And we've been having subjects in around mindset and relationships and career and movement. And today it's play. And we have our special guest, Philip, um, Phil Santos. See, I keep calling you Philip because it's <laughs> what I keep reading there. Phil Santos, um, who I met actually playing. So then when when we thought about this, okay, who are we going to invite? And, you know, we have our also our, our dear friend and my cousin, Jessica Aloha, which we see her as the goddess of play. And we knew that she needed to be a part of this. But I also wanted to invite Phil, and he's our first male that we invite to to the zoom cast because our coaching program is for women only so far this might change they might change soon um but he is just so good at what he does when it comes to to play understanding human behavior and getting people to really engage in in games and just being silly and expressing our true self so i invited him he, he was a firm yes so phil thank you so much for taking the time tonight to share your wisdom and to shine and what you do best um both Megan and I created Integrate to Upgrade as a, a way to, to mentor women into creating a life that is healthy, that is sustainable, that, um, that it's a, a, a strong foundation so that, that we can stand on so that we can have fun and, and be healthy and wealthy and, and sexy and happy and all the things. So each month we take time to really dive deep into the subject. And we felt that play is just as important as working on our mindset, working on our nutrition, working on our physical activity or spirituality, because if we don't have play in our life then what are we doing you guys right it's not all about work 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 and like doing the shadow work and all that stuff yes that's great and we got to remember to have fun and so sometimes with all the things that we have as adults we forget to play and so the intention for today is to to remind you how important that is and maybe share with you some ideas that you can bring more of that and in our coaching program we go a little deeper into the science of play sharing with you certain ted talks and other things that you can dive deeper into that and we give you a challenge for you to start to try different things um, to bring more play into your life. Uh, I'm going to drop in some links later for those of you who are not in the program or don't know about it so you can learn a little more about that. Megan, do you have anything to say? I love prioritizing play as I put it into every day and that's like one of our sayings, how can you invite play into your day? And it's very easy for me because the work I do, it's not feel like work, it's like more playtime to me. Um, but play to me is like being active and doing all sorts of different movement and adventuring and eating delicious food and having massage and like just being in nature. And so I love to do best day evers. And this is a way that I can bring fun in. There's days where I just like, if you're free for the whole day, plan it all at once. And you just go from one thing to the next. It's like your most fun day, but that's not realistic for every day of the week. So I always want to do something each day. I love to do so many different things. That's like playtime to me. I do a lot of like physical acro and like just different things. We go to the park. So I have that play in my lifestyle and like playing with my dog and like getting on my hammock and my swing. So I feel that I put play within my day just because you can do a best day ever. Like if you're we still working, just choose one thing because most people probably multi-passionate as well. And, you know, I know Barbara and Jessica on this call, like all the different flow arts and all the different things, the spice of life. It's like, you don't have to just do one thing and just fit it in. So having, how can you have something fun to look forward to each day, whether you are working? So is that like in a morning routine or an evening routine? So it's about like keeping all aspects that we teach upon the 12 foundations in balance and in part of like how you live your life. So Really excited to have Phil join us. I have no idea what's in store, but the first time I did 
any interaction with him was the same event that Barbara met him at. And we just had this playtime. And I don't want to spoil any of the games in case he's leading them tonight, but I was laughing just so hard. And I love that, that type of laughter where you just, just letting it go. And it's so funny and fun. And it was like the camaraderie of the way that he brought everyone together. And I love to see like everyone like played full out. Like there was no, there wasn't like some people were sitting on the sidelines watching. It was like, it was, it's everyone. So I'm excited. I'll pass the mic, but that's my, that's what I share tonight. Bill, would you love You want me to speak? Today? Yes. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for that wonderful introduction, Megan, Barbara. I'm so happy to be here. Your group seems amazing. And yes, we are going to get into some games today. So, uh, our, our, uh, is this, this is my portion of the, of the activity? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Cause I know I want to leave time for Jessica to speak later. You got the, you got the floor. The floor is yours. Okay. All right. So uh, first off, I want to ask you guys, um, I'm not sure where you are, Jenny or Alicia, but I would love for you to turn on your cameras because we're going to get playful. We're going to get silly. And part of that means being in connection with each other. So I invite everyone to turn on your cameras. Okay, I'm seeing some spirit fingers for silliness. I like that. I like that spirit fingers are, fingers are always welcome. And uh, I just want to acknowledge Stefano. It's amazing that you're here because he is a play facilitator in Medellin and formerly in Berlin. So really happy to have you here. Um, okay, so as you guys are turning on your cameras, if you're able to, I want to get into a bit of my story and I'm not going to speak for a long time. We're going to go, we're going to go into the silly pretty quickly. So I just want to introduce myself. My name is Phil Santos. I am a play facilitator. I'm a, an author. I'm writing a book about conscious nightlife and conscious community events and I've been interviewing people all around the world about how to build conscious communities, whether they be through dance, through play, or through all these other conscious uh, connection focused modalities that we're all so in love with. So when I was uh, young, I was really, really quiet. And I was, I was honestly, I was, I was borderline uh, like Asperger's syndrome. And I, I just remember not having a lot of friends. I remember um, getting my lunch like in high school and walking out into the courtyard, just so intimidated because I didn't know who I was going to sit with. And that, that was a really a daily struggle for me was to find connection and find friendship. And it wasn't until I was 14 years old and I went to my first concert that I finally found uh, that I could connect with people, that I could be in a space and be, be playful without, um, without needing to necessarily talk because I could dance and I could add my vibe in that way. So I found over, over time that these structures, whether it be a dance floor or a game or an authentic relating game or a communication structure, they help unlock almost like the cheat codes to our personality to like get our most playful authentic selves out there. And I've been learning about play. I, I lead a workshop called uh, Ecstatic Playground that happens every month that uh, Megan and Barbara were speaking to, which is just a time to be silly and to create a play positive space where we can activate and enjoy through music games, singing games, improv games, and movement, just all the modalities. And I've been learning a lot about play as I do this work of creating these play spaces. And recently I've learned that when you're traumatized, when children have difficult traumatic experiences, which we all have trauma to an extent, but specifically when children have traumatic experiences, the first thing that goes is the ability to imagine and to play. That is the first thing. There was a study where they had traumatic, traumatized children and they asked them to look at ink blots to like see what they could see in these ink blots, which a normal person would be like, oh, I see clouds or I see a face or whatever. And most of the time they just said, oh, I just, I see ink. Literally the part of their brain that was imagining, imagination, it was just completely blocked off because their amygdala, the smoke detector in their brain was not allowing them to fully experience themselves because play is our natural state. And every one of us, we have different parts 
uh, there's a theory called internal family, family systems where every single human being, we have parts, there's our inner child, there's the executive who's managing all the parts, there's the fire extinguisher who's like making us go eat sugar or chocolate when we don't feel good or watch TV. We have all these parts and one of those parts is our inner child. And sometimes in our development, that inner child gets stunted because of some kind of difficult experience. So my goal with my events and with my workshops and the goal today is to light this little fire. We're all bringing our energy. We're gonna build a fire. And that fire is play, it's, our, it's joy. And through building that fire together, you're gonna take a little, little bit of coal, a, li a, little, a little ember, and you're gonna put it in your pocket so that you can take it out later on in your life. We're gonna stoke that creative fire that we all have inside. So I would love for um, everyone to unmute yourselves if you can. Ooh, ooh. Oh boy. Okay. okay. Hey. All right, so I, I just spoke into a vacuum. Hi. Hi. <laughs> all right, so I just wanna start off really quick. If we can all just uh, say one word, what, one, one word that embodies uh, what energy we're bringing into the space because so much of being able to be creative and be joyful is being present. So uh, I'm just gonna popcorn it. Whoever wants to start, what's one word in terms of the energy that you have with you right now? What's alive Any for you? Experimental. Curiosity. Um, Open. Wonder. <laughs> intrigued. Intrigued. Too intrigued. Mm. <laughs> Excited. Smiling. Excited. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. Hey, Blaine. It's spicy. <laughs> hot. Really hot. hot. All of a sudden. Oh, oh, oh caliente. <laughs> love it. Love it. Did everyone uh, have a chance to say their word? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yes. Okay, beautiful. So uh, it's great that we all unmuted ourselves because I'm already starting to feel more presence. Like we're a little bit closer to the fire, you know what I mean? It's like this spontaneous, someone could say something at any time, but we're gonna stay unmuted and we'll change that if we need to, but we're gonna stay unmuted for now. And I'm gonna invite us into a little, very short meditation. So I invite you guys to close your eyes. Close your eyes. And start to tune into your breath. Start to tune into those belly breaths. It's like in the yoga class. If, if I can hear you breathing, then you're doing it right. <laughs> I'm hearing some loud. Blow. <laughs> yeah, blow, blow that fire. So have your eyes closed and start to tune into your, your breath. Start to become present to what's happening in your body. Is there a part of your body that's holding on to anything, holding on to tension or even holding some excitement? Start to notice that. So as you take these deep breaths, I invite you to open your eyes. And now we're all gonna take a deep breath in together and then we're gonna sigh it out. So if you're ready, let's inhale. Ah. Ah. Okay, we're gonna do another sigh. So inhale. Ah. 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 All right. So a lot of silliness and play is expressed through the voice. So if you're able to in your space, I know it can feel uncomfortable, but we're gonna make this fire together. So now I, we're gonna do another sigh, but we're gonna smile and we're gonna just do a little bit of a silly sigh. So let's breathe in. <laughs> 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 um, 
right. No, this one's a little more edgy, but it's a little edgy because it's even better for your immune system, for your nervous system. So we're going to laugh it out. So this time we're going to breathe in, we're going to laugh it out, and I invite you to play full out. So let's breathe in. Great, how uncomfortable. Okay, okay. All right. Now, the last part of our little warm up is we're going to get up. And we're just going to do, it's a very simple tantric technique. It's called a shaking meditation. So we're just going to oh, yeah. take all that stagnant energy that we've brought throughout our day, all of the seriousness, all of the disappointments, all of the argumentation, and we're going to shake it off. We're just going to shake every part from your wrists to your elbows to your ankles. You don't need to dance if you want to. You can shake the booty, but we're just going to shake all of it away. <laughs> we're going to go for about 30 more seconds. Get in your body and shake it out. Sorry, sorry. Left on my dog. <laughs> shake the dog. <laughs> she the dog. <laughs> you stepped on your dog. Oh man, I was like, through the oh, no. you me right. <laughs> All right, ten more seconds of shaking. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> give a little? <laughs> <laughs> and now, after this shake, I want you to just stay up and just pause and feel your body. Take a deep breath in. Tingling. If you want, place a hand on your heart. Just feel that energy. Okay. I'd like you to take a seat. How did that feel? Energizing. Great. Freeing. Releasing. I heard someone say tingling. That's yeah. because we're bringing a bunch of new blood to our joints. It's uh, new oxygen in it. It's really good for your joints. That's why dogs shake all the time. <laughs> they know how to do this. Okay. And animals. Um, uh, Spadrillo. I forget what that animal is called, but when and and a lot of animals do this they shake after after stress right they might kind of freeze but after the stress goes away then sh shaking is their mechanism to release that stress so yeah invite more shaking into your it's life. intuitive i i've been doing the shaking meditation almost every morning just as a way to warm up the body highly recommend it nice another meditation i do is when i see a dog i do gibberish I go, <laughs> <laughs> and that's just a way to keep the freak flag flying, you know, just, you got to work those freaky muscles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to break off into zoom. We're going to break off into breakout rooms. So what's going to, what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple uh, sentence stem. So it is play is our natural state. So we're going to talk about our play blockers. So in groups of two, uh, y'all are going to take turns sharing. You're each going to have two minutes to share and then one minute of impact. So you'll share from the sentence stem. And then afterwards, you will both talk about whatever was just shared, whether that's something that resonated or just something, if you, if you see something that can help the other person, invite you to share that. And then we're going to switch off to the next person, and that person will have two minutes to share from the sentence stem, and then one, one minute of impact, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. So uh, I'm going to break you off into groups right now. This sentence stem, I'm going to post it in the chat. <clears throat> right there. Does someone want to read the I sentence am, stem? I am most oh. playful. 
I posted Oh wait, you already sent it to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm reading it. <laughs> All right. So will someone read that? Oh. What I most please playful when? My playful nature is most loved when. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So does anyone have any questions regarding the activity? No. No. Okay. All right. So I'm going to split us off right now and I'm going to repost it uh, in a few seconds. All right. So you've been invited to join your breakout room. All right, now, okay. That's I'm awesome. Gonna... So you learned that today, how to do the breakout? Yeah, it was so easy. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've it's... never done a breakout. This is awesome. I, I really like them. I, I've been talking to people all, the, all around um, who do these like play workshops, team building for companies. And hello. Hi, Trisha. Oh, you're muted, my love. I got, I, I was all by myself. So oh, no. Okay. You can be here with us. The question was, I feel when I don't feel playful is when I get left by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this is a traumatic All is in perfect in order. Thing. All is in perfect order, though. <laughs> All right, Trisha. Well, you can't make it you up. Can go first if you want to. Excuse me. You can go first if you want to. Well, I was I was actually really great that that happened because, um, you know, experiencing joy um, becomes is very natural. I forgot the question exactly it um, was um uh, i feel most, most playful, playful when yeah when i have uh, fun plans travel excitement when i'm you know i i'm being pushed to my limits um and i'm trying new things uh, my playful nature is blocked when i am alone or lo feelings of loneliness coming up um or just you know you, you spoke about the trauma and i've feel like I've been lacking vision for myself and creating like um, a clear structure for my future. So it's been a little stagnant. So I'm complete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, I'm just going to broadcast a message really quick. Sorry, did I interrupt you guys? No, no you're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Blanche. Hey, I didn't. Have, my person wasn't wasn't there, but that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let me put you in a room with Trisha then. Oh, cool. Um, I wonder if anybody else is having that issue. It seems like not. But... Could be that someone like left or something. Let me see. No, All right. So I just put you both in room one. Okay. okay, cool. Do you see that option? Uh, not yet. To join room one? Trisha went. It, sh it should be, um, it says- Yeah, I'm not getting a message this time for it. it I got one last time. They're not joined. Let me, um, let me, let me try it. There she goes. <laughs> hey, Cassandra. We have everyone in breakout rooms right now. Perfect. Oh, Blanche, you're still here. You didn't make it to the room? <laughs> I love it, Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs> You are 
perfect, perfect unicorn <laughs> to walk in here. We're doing a little, a little work right now with play. Um, oh, Trisha, you were alone again. But yeah. now look, now you're in a in a room full of playful it's people. Sandra! Hi. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Jessica, did you uh, leave your room? I guess people are leaving their room. Yeah, I, I missed my buddy, my girlfriend, the, the curly. Uh, well, maybe we can just get into this group discussion. Hey, girl. <laughs> I got to meet Janae. It was wonderful. Nice. Okay, so I invited everyone back into the main room and maybe we can just talk about these questions and what's present for us when we when we reflect on when we're most playful. Who's first? <laughs> you can be. <laughs> I can be. Oh, Janae was first. She did great. Um, for me, though, I'll kind of reiterate i'm most playful when i'm out with my little ones i have two boys a six and nine year old and so imagination land i'm, I'm a plane i'm a dinosaur i'm a bird <laughs> um when am i most blocked i said in thought when you just kind of sit and try to decide out of everything it's just so so much Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, oh, no. let's. Um, <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Hey guys. So we were just listening to Stephanie. Stephanie sharing about when she feels most playful. So I think we can spend about a few minutes, take a few shares, and just have a little bit of a discussion around when we feel most playful as a group, and then we'll move on to when we're blocked. Does that sound good? So, as Stephanie, you were saying that you feel most playful with your boys. What What do you guys like to do together? I'm very outdoorsy. Um, I'm at the beach. We're just going on hikes, walking through the trees. I live right next to like a little forest, so we'll go out there and explore, um, find all kinds of little things, plants. Um, the coolest thing we found was a turtle carcass. I know it's kind of dark, but it's cool. <laughs> um so with them it's yeah everything it's it's easy to be playful because they're just eager to learn so did it surprise you to like be able to go into those states with your children like were you expecting that um i've always seen myself very imaginative Imaginative, that's a word. <laughs> yeah. Imagination driven. <laughs> um, so it, to me, it feels natural, which is wonderful. It just, I am a bird when I'm in the forest. So it's great to share with them, you know? Um, or when we're in the beach, we're fish, turtles. We love it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for yeah. your share. Absolutely. Thank you. Does anyone else want to share when they feel the most playful? I will. Whoa. It's okay. Totally fine. Hold on, hold on. I do, but hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's Haley. Okay. Um, I just had a great discussion with Alicia and I and I discovered that like me being most playful is when I'm feeling vulnerable, where it's like nothing that's there it's like I have like this sense of being vulnerable of whoever I'm surrounded and I could just feel like a safe environment for me and then I could just let it go because I know that I'm feeling safe so vulnerable for me is like being playful um I don't know I've caught that with like boyfriends or even my best friends where it's like when I know that I'm in a safe spot and being that vulnerable like I'd talk cutesy you know, I can let it go. And like, you know, as being adults, like we don't do that anymore. You know, well, some people don't do it anymore, but you know, I'm trying to find 
that connection where I'm like, oh, okay, like I can just smile and say silly things and not be judged or just being completely letting all my guard down and being that safe. So I guess it's like vulnerable and safe for me. So what, what I'm hearing from you is that there's this, um, maybe this dissonance between in some relationships, there isn't that vulnerability. And no. So it's not safe to be playful. Mm -mm. No. And there's there some, some relationships that, yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna say? There's some dark shit over here sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it, it gets dark, but then, you know, but no, that's, I mean, I, I feel the most safe. It's just remember like finding, like building forts, like that's the type of relationship and bond that I want, like that kind of stuff. But a lot of that during COVID. So, so where you could just like not be an adult and just let everything down and just be completely vulnerable. Who's you? I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can all unmute unless there's like a, unless there's a dog or some kind of a lot of noise around you. We can all just feel the darkness of this whole quarantining and being away from people. People share energies and we've just been blocked. And energy is light. It's you need to get out, open a window, open a door. It's necessary. 100%. I love to share. Yeah. So, and I was having that conversation with Hannah, um, you know, I was thinking, when do I feel the most playful? And for me, it's when I, when I take care of myself, when I'm eating right, when I'm sleeping well and my body feels nourished and I just, I feel good when I move my body, when I dance. Um, but most importantly, when I feel in love and not just in love with another person, but in love with myself. Right when I when I choose to see to to take care of this temple and love on it, and that's when I feel the most playful. And um, when I feel the less playful or blocked is the opposite when I'm not taking care of my body. Um, when I am maybe around people that are not as playful, even though when I am around people that are not as playful, my tendency is to bring play. Um, and, and light into, in, into their being, um, infuse them with that playfulness, because it's just, it's very, um, it's become a part of me. Um, but I just wanted to share that, that it's mainly when I'm, when I feel in love with myself, that I am the most playful. And so perhaps I can remind you and, uh, yeah. I like that you spoke to the habits. It's kind of like the foundation that allows you to stand upon and like show your light, spread your, your play. Yeah. I love that you use the word foundation. That's something that in these times, nothing feels solid. So needing to work on foundation. Yeah. Yeah, I see <laughs> some resonance in the chat as well. And, I, and I'd also like that too. just want to add into that, that um, when Jessica was speaking on you know, being around people and uplifting them. Um, sometimes the greatest way to learn is to teach and lead by example. Yes. So. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a powerful uh, lesson about being a permission slip for other people. So it's like the brighter you're burning, you give people permission to go that far as well. Well, that is a form of play. If you think about it, you could make it into a, a, a playful thing where you just, everyone that you encounter, everyone that you, that you come in contact with, how can you make them laugh? How can you make them be silly? And how can you get them out of their head into being childlike again and playful? That's, it feels really good. And then thank you, there you're you're cultivating being more playful, which ultimately it's going to keep you younger, right? Because if we're always contracted and, and in a bad mood and just in a really low vibration, we're aging faster. So the more playful you are, the more playful we are and cultivate that childlike, being innocent, not taking things personally, just, it's not just all Light. play, but- Light. You know, Light. Lighthearted. Yeah. yeah, these are such amazing revelations. I, I want to uh, ask if some of the other folks who haven't spoken up yet, like Francis 
for Alicia, uh, Janae, I invite you to, to speak if you feel called. Um, I feel most playful when I'm relaxed. Um, I feel when the stress is off my shoulder and I feel like I can get on the ground with my daughters and let my little inner child come out and play with them. And, um, and yeah, like you were saying as well, I also feel like when I'm around other people who aren't quite as playful as me, I definitely, it comes out more in me. Um, even though I'm not necessarily the super outgoing one of a group, but if I am, I, I come forward in that role, which is interesting. It's beautiful. That's making a ripple effect. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I can speak it. Yeah. Um, I live in Ohio. I don't live in Florida or any of those fun places where I can go to the beach on a regular basis or anything like that. And generally in Ohio, people are not happy here. Oh. So, um, <laughs> it's, it's very Fine. different. Um, I go to Florida often uh, to Sarasota, but anyways, talking about play, I have a horse. So that is where I feel most confident and what? playful is when I am wrangling him in and um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, play with, I have an, a huge puppy too and who's almost like a size of a small pony so we're always out playing with her and I'm like the biggest kid on the planet so I try to play as much as possible um, I've been quite down lately so I guess that's kind of when I feel blocked we have fertility problems so we're dealing with that stuff um and I actually bought myself a toy the other day so I could play with it. And um, it's, I don't know if anybody, I'm an 80s kid, so I love Playmobil. And I bought myself a Playmobil Volkswagen bus because that's my goal for the future. And um, I probably feel most blocked when I'm not doing any of those things, uh -huh, when I'm not out there with my horse and, and stuff. So that's just, uh, kind of where I am is it's kind of lonely but at the same time I'm like building new relationships and meeting new people at the same time and it's so scary but being 40 and trying to do all new things but it's working so here we are what's your horse's name Archer Archer, Archer. and so she has strong. a pet pig too what's that you have a pet piggy oh yes I have a pet <laughs> pig Oscar okay it's so, uh, so real names. Too. Those are some great names. <laughs> yeah. And then my um, puppy who came to us at like a really awesome time when we needed her, her name's uh, Violetta. So. Oh my goodness. Violetta. <laughs> She's the my mind went somewhere else when you said you bought a toy. Y'all laughing. You went there too. I did too. <laughs> He saw it sitting on the table and he was like, what is I was like, don't you worry about it, but I'll probably be playing with it when you get home tonight. So, <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Who made that joke? Was it you, Stephanie? Stephanie? No, uh, it was... me. No, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Barbara. Barbara. Okay. So it's just to illustrate, like when you make a joke, like you took an idea that was here and an idea that was here and you like connected them in a non-obvious way. And that's what humor creates. Humor is the excitement of two, not, of two disparate ideas having a connection that we didn't realize or perceive. And so because play is blocked by trauma and because play is blocked by like our emotional smoke detectors going off all the time, what that blocks is the ability for our brains to enter into states where we can relate connections amongst amongst each other mm -hmm. so really what we do and so many of you said that play was brought up by connection it was brought up by being with your kids being with your partner being with your dog being with your horse being with your pig Oscar and um it's that sense of being with people calming us down calming down our emotional smoke detectors 
feeling safe, feeling vulnerable, so that we can enter into those flow states that allow us to feel good and that give us the joy of life. Because if you're doing all this work, like Barbara was saying, and the shadow work, and working through all this stuff, but you're not laughing and you're not joyful, then what are you doing it all for? Mm. So I, I, uh, I don't want to keep you guys here too, too long. I want to be mindful of your time. Uh, was there, a, was there something that you wanted to say, Jessica, or? Um... Yeah, so I wanted to talk a little bit about um, different types of play and encourage everyone to find different ways of playing. Because when you think of play, I hear a lot of, you know, you, you, um, playing with your family or playing with your pets, but what about playing with yourself? And only, and not in that regards, right? But for- <laughs> Not too, why not? I think that's important too. I think it's important too. And that's killer too. Um, so I encourage everyone to play with themselves more. <laughs> so find different ways to play, different toys. Right. So it could be like, for example, my sister, I know she's a great dancer and I know she loves to play with her kids, but I was like, what can I give my sister? I remember she used to be really good at hula hoop. So I gifted her a hula hoop and I encourage her, hey, um, if you get really good at hula hooping, I'll gift you an LED one. Because I know that hula hooping, it's going to help her brain, right? Like her brain function. She's going to um, create paths she's going to learn new patterns she's going to coordination is important right? <laughs> just being playful and creating different shapes and being fully in the moment with this little object learning how to manipulate the object and doing and the improving to herself that she can do certain moves that she can do certain things so that's what i love about flow arts and i'm so drawn to them that um so much happens when we are learning something new. So I, if you know me, I love to play with, I mean, I see something I'm like, oh, I love that. I need to learn how to do it. And I watch it, I pay attention and I tell myself, I can do that if I can. Um, but I love that challenge of learning something new. Um, so I like playing with fans. I love to play with poise, staff. You know, I could be out in the woods and find a stick and I play with it. So it, it's like just finding new ways of playing. And um, another thing that I wanted to share was a lot of the times we, our play flow becomes blocked because of fear of what people are going to think of us or how they're going to perceive us or it's external reasons right and it's it's a reminder here to let go of all that if you notice that that comes up when you're wanting to be playful with something new that you've never done before it could be dancing silly or making somebody laugh like shake it off just like we did at the beginning <laughs> shake it off and and prove yourself that you can do something um different that you can make someone laugh that you can dance like nobody's watching like who cares what people think of us is it's their business fun. Just it's, not, fun. it's not mine I don't need to carry that I don't need to feel that so I've become really good at not uh, tuning into inside tuning into my ability to play my ability to create rather than what other people are thinking of me in that moment you have stepped out of the state of flow so it's a practice and it's going to make everything that you do better. So like you were um, saying at the beginning, Philip, a lot of the traumas that we've had in our childhood do affect how we interact in the world now and how serious we are and how personally we take things, right? And it's like, let's be more playful. Let's have more fun. Let's be the light that illuminates the path of everyone around us. Wherever we go, we are remembered by that beacon of light that just brought playfulness into the room so be more playful and find new ways of playing and I would love to hear what you explore share with me tag me I don't know just would love to see you girls and guys play more dance more love more and it comes down to loving 
loving yourself, having your practices, taking care of your body, your mind, this temple physically, mentally, and using play to enhance your way of life, to enhance the way that you think and the way that you react, the way that you respond is really a beautiful art. And um, yeah. Okay. Hey, can I also share that um, while you were talking, while you were speaking, Jessica, I realized that um, my play gets dulled when I get comfortable, when I stick to a routine and I, um, you know, I, I stick to the same route or the same yoga class or whatever, because it's easier and I know it's going to work rather than stepping, stepping outside my comfort zone and trying a new class or trying a new route to wherever I'm going, or maybe getting up and going to the beach and watching the sunrise rather than sipping on coffee and doing folding laundry right so, so surrounding yourself with people that are more playful right attract start attracting those beings that remind you to be silly mm -hmm. just say even just get out um hannah you mentioned you were in ohio you're by the great lakes right you can see some some water i mean one of those lakes I'm, are amazing. i'm like mid ohio so unfortunately we have reservoirs and i do take um my dog for a walk in the reservoir, but she swim. She loves to swim, so it's hard to keep her out of the water. Jessica, um, what are, um, other Jessica, I know where my Morel, my sister is. What, no, 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 what that area? was my last last name. Don't don't call him Morel no more. I'm Jessica no. Lohan. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta change your name on Zoom. I know. I, I logged into the wrong account. I have two accounts. Myself, <laughs> I'll teach you. What's well, my area? sister, by the way? Huh? <laughs> I'm not good with geography, but I kind of know, like, kind of know. <laughs> Do you have one outdoors? Jessica Huff? Oh, yeah, me. Oh, you're talking. OK, I wanted yeah. to make sure, because I thought there was another Jessica. I, There's so, another Jessica. I, I, I have two accounts, me. too. I have two accounts, too, and one's Jesse, which everyone kind of knows me as. Um, I live in Fort Lauderdale, so I'm between Barbara and Megan. Yeah. And, um, I live. I have a house right here by the Hard Rock on the water, so it's it's very peaceful here. So I moved out of the city for because of COVID. So I do get out. I rollerblade. I do all. Good that for stuff. you to get yeah. it out of the city. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I miss it because it's too far away from everyone. But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Now the city still the the outside still has people. The city just has too much. I just miss the beach. Need more greenery. That's yeah. what I miss. I miss the beach. I miss getting up and taking a drive where it's only 15 minutes early in the morning to go to the beach. I haven't done it here in Fort Lauderdale. It seems a little congested compared to Miami because you know the spots, but yeah. I haven't ventured off. So I, I think I should try to do that. Yeah, I gotta make that yeah. awareness. I, I, I make it a point to get out. You need to just step out of the house. We're too, we're too confined. We're too confined. And that's like a comfort zone. It's almost like, you know, you, you stick with the, the road less, uh, you know, that's easier. It's easier to get the road, you know. Yeah. COVID brought you guys. I want to bring, I want to okay. bring, um, no, it's okay. I want to bring up Cassandra who made it. I never mentioned that she was coming because she had a previous engagement. So if she was able to make it, she was going to make it and she is here. Cassandra Vegan, there you are. So Cassandra, and I love that Jessica talked um, about floor arts and how she loves it. Jessica really is. She can grab whatever prop and she's like, she'll be like, oh my God, a phone. Let me dance with it. And then she'll, <laughs> she's beautiful. Oh my God, a rock. And then she'll, just, she'll make it be the most beautiful rock. So she does have that. That's a thing that she has. And Cassandra, if you don't know her, uh, she is also another queen of play. She is the creator of Flow Fests. And Flow Fest bring flow arts all over the United States. Last year, she did flow arts. She went on Zoom. And even though, right, we didn't do anything outdoors, she made it happen and had her flow arts on Zoom. And, um, and 
she's just so amazing. She brings some of the best um, flow artists to teach um, people, regular people. She creates these flow events in different parks and different cities all over the United States. And people who have never picked up a prop before might leave that weekend knowing how to juggle or knowing how to play the hoop. And she puts a lot of energy, a lot of work into that. And I love how she speaks about flow and being in the flow. And so Cassandra, if you can speak to that a little bit um and uh i don't know that you have any flow fest this year or coming up but she is also has an amazing job where she um she works with the boys and girls clubs here in the palm beach area and she just brings all the fun and all all the great amazing activities um uh, for the boys and girls clubs so she's got a lot on her plate and thank you so much for making time to be here tonight and to share your wisdom i love you so much i respect you so much <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to be here, and I'm honored by the invitation to play always, um, and I'm grateful that I was able to make it happen to be here. Um, I also want to acknowledge that, you know, Philip actually brought up flow and being in flow and the value of play to access flow and flow as a result of play. Um, that there's an almost inextricable link there. It's really hard to access the flow state if you're not playing at least a little bit with something. Um, so I'm super grateful for that. And to everybody who has been here and has been sharing from their heart in a vulnerable space about play, which isn't necessarily something that we talk about, I think enough. So super delighted. Um, I do wanna say that um, well, for one thing, all of the flow fests that happened in 2020 um, from June through November are still accessible virtually. We actually used something called Crowdcast. We didn't use Zoom. Um, so they're still up and there's even a discount code for them. Um, I think it's the end of 2020, all lowercase, no spaces. If you type that in, you get access to all of the workshops for half off. And they were, I think each festival, um, the virtual intensives were $20. So it's like, you know, 30 workshops for $20. But if you use the discount code, it's only $10 because you're watching the replay of all of this. Um, but there are also free workshops in these events. So go and check them out. Even if you're only remotely interested, um, we had a lot of fun putting the virtual events together, but it's really, as you know, nothing like being together in person and playing together in person. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm super grateful to have the opportunity to engage in play as a play professional which is um, a phrase that I started to hear my friend Abby Lee um, using in her marketing materials. She's a hoop dance instructor. She and I co-authored uh, a program called Hula Fit together for hula hooping to train hula, hula hoop teachers. Um, and she, she always talks about herself as a play professional. And I love that. I love putting that hat on and as much as um, sometimes when I'm in the professional mode, it might not feel like play if I'm working on a spreadsheet, handling expenses, you know? Um, but even that I can make playful and I've been exploring ways to do that um, and to integrate play to upgrade my uh, work environment and to activate play and flow states um, with my colleagues at the Boys and Girls Clubs of Palm Beach County. So that's been super delightful. Um, I don't know if I answered uh, what you asked me to speak to, um, but I will say that in 2022, we will be having four Flow Fest events in the following cities in January in Fort Lauderdale in March, actually early April in Austin, Texas, in um, 
June, we will be in Seattle. And then in September, early September, uh, we'll be back in Chicago for Midwest Flow Fest. Um, all of those events are free to attend. So feel free and uh, Barbara put the information in the chat and I love, 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 love you. Thank you for playing with me. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you. I put the, um, uh, the is it flowfest.com? Flowfest with an S on the end. Yep. Yes. That's com. The There's the website. The end of 2020 is there on the chat, you guys, if you want to go check that out. Um, Phil uh, and Jesse, I know you want to say something. Uh, Phil, put in. I know that Phil has an event on Saturday, which I'm going to. It's down in Miami Beach for those of you who are local. And it's, <clears throat> excuse me, Phil, if you want to say, talk about it, because I think I need to cough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <Yeah>. coughing. <laughs> so I will, um, I'll put it in the chat right now, the link to the event with the discount code. Yeah. So on Saturday, we're doing the Conscious Connection Experience. And this is put on by my company, Ecstatic Playground. And it's all about creating a space for human beings to come together in person through um, silliness, through improv games, and through contact dance. And that all of that will open us up to a really deep ecstatic dance at the end. Um, so it's going to be a real journey starting off with cacao, into the human connection games and the silliness, and then going into partnered contact dance, uh, this thing called the Ahimsa method, which is all about freeform touch and flow. And then that'll go into an ecstatic dance, which I'm gonna DJ and I'll, I'll be playing some like really tribal Brazilian ancient rhythm, Appreciate rhythmic it. beats. So the link is in the wow. chat and uh, I've made a special code for everyone in the integrate to upgrade uh, group. So you guys can get 25% off and uh, yeah, excited to see some of you there. It'll be in, in uh, South Beach. I'll be there and I'll be bringing Brian and then he's bringing a friend too. So yeah. I'm excited to play in person. Jesse, do you want to say something else? Oh, I wish I could be there so bad, but the next one, please invite me. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted to share one more thing. So um, I like to get us into a very, very silly mode uh, just to finish the, the call in, in that mode. This is something that I do sometimes when I'm feeling too serious and I want to get out of my seriousness and just get into a, a higher vibration. So I, I do this different types of breathing. And at first it's like, oh, this is silly, but I noticed that the sensations, the vibration, and the longer I do it, the, the more I feel a buzzing in my body. So I'd love to share some of those with you guys. I'm going to invite you to be very, very silly. You may feel like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Just do it. Just, just play the game. Should okay? we unmute ourselves? Yeah, that could be fun. Jerry, no. no. Muted. I'm muted. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's try it. All right. So we're going to start with snake breath. So whatever your snake sounds like, okay? And you're gonna take really long exhales, really long inhales. We're gonna do this for a couple of breaths and then we'll switch to a different one, okay? So let's get started. Let me hear your snake breath. And get silly and move around. Yeah, I'll be like a snake. Is that a thing that goes with it, right? <laughs> it's yeah. been like, cool, the movement made me sound like a snake. Yeah. Yes. How does a horse do when they're like shaking it off? My dogs. Okay, that's okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Notice the sensations, right? Notice your body. <laughs> different sound. 
Does anybody know the laughing mantra? Hmm? <laughs> so it's ha 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 My dog is going nuts. I'm sure everyone else's dog is going yeah. crazy too. Uh, he's like, what are all those sounds? <laughs> I know. I know. Sounding silly. Well, thank he's you. Crazy guys human. So the game. Thank you, yeah. guys. That was thank really you. great. Yeah, Phil, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Before we all depart into the most uh, beautiful flow states, that with all this energy that we just charged up, this fire that we created, I wanted to invite you if you work for a company with a budget for team building events. Uh, we are uh, available uh, to do uh, one hour Zoom experiences or two hour in-person intensives. I'm going to just post my information, uh, my email and my Instagram there. So if that's something that your company has budget for, I would love to help you connect with your teammates and not feel weird about bringing up that weird conflict that you have with Karen and accounting, because if you guys laugh together, you'll be able to talk it through, be more productive and, and make more, make more impact. Awesome. Thank you, Phil. I want to learn, definitely want to learn more play from you. So you'll be hearing from me. Grazie. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much for spending this hour with us and sharing. I will see you Saturday. Thank you for sharing all your links and all the things. I will send out uh, an email. This will be posted in our um, network for those of you who um, are not part of Integrate to Upgrade. Um, let's see if I can show you what, no, that's not it. Mm, where are we? Okay. Oh, maybe here. So you have an idea of what this looks like. We have this course and then each of our subjects it has a kind of like a mini course. And when we go into play, we go into the different lessons and then it's either audio or video or an actual kind of something that you'll do. We give you resources, additional TED, oh, your TED talk, Phil has a TED talk and your TED talk is somewhere in here. And then we'll be adding cool. this recording into that so that the people that couldn't be there today um, can watch it and get inspired. Uh, we use Mighty Networks as the place to host our course and to stay connected in, in a network form where we don't have any ads or algorithm or you know just weird things like in Facebook and things like that. So if right now it's only for women and if you are not part of it and want to be part of it, please connect with us. Uh, we have your email, so we'll be uh, stalking you. Not just kidding. We'll just send you a link with, um, with it. 
with it and then uh we'll we'll put in your contact there as well and full fest cassandra thank you so, so much for being here jesse thank you so much for being here we'll make sure that everybody gets a hold of you guys you guys are awesome thank you for spending your evening with us our next zoom cast is going to be it's the beginning of september and uh next month's topic is going to be all about sustainability green living and how can we be more uh ethical and sustainable consumers so have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your month, you guys. Go out and play. Have so much fun. We've got this one life for now, for, for in this lifetime. So make sure that you have more fun than work. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Everybody. Bye, bye. Peace. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Ciao, ciao. Ciao, Thanks so much. Ciao. See you on the dance floor. <laughs> See you, Francis. Hopefully, maybe you can make it down to Miami on Saturday. Hmm. Oh, you never know. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> Playtime. It's on. <laughs> I'll see y'all soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.